Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. Okay, for today, <coughs> we will proceed to science year 5 for the topic science process skills for problem solving. But before that, let's refresh back what is science process skill. Okay, basically, science process skill are one of the scientific skill used to help solve problems, especially in science and investigation. But before, ba before that, let's revise back 12 science process skills. What are the 12 science process skills? That is observing, classifying, measuring and using numbers, make inference, predicting, communicating, using space-time relationship, interpreting data, operational definition, controlling variable, making hypothesis, and experimenting. So during while we are we are carrying out an experiment, we will use most of the science process skill. So let's go to the next slide. So for today, we will learn how science process skills can help us to solve problems. So let's observe the situation beside here. So as we can see, there is a group of pupils that are playing bubble, soap bubble. So let's see. Okay, the one with the green shirt says, Friends, it seems that our soap bubbles burst faster than the soap bubbles of other people. And the one in the pink said, That's right, Melia. It will be more fun to play if our soap bubbles are not easily burst. How can we produce bubbles that are not easily burst? So, this pink lady, this pink pupil, okay, said that their, their, their bubbles are easily burst. So, they need to think a way to produce bubbles that are not easily burst. Then, the one in the yellow should say it. In my opinion, they use a certain mixture. I read on the internet that adding glycerin or tapioca flour into the soap solution can produce bubbles that are not easily burst. So, this uh, boy okay, are observing the others and it also observing the info from the internet. And then, the one in the blue shirt says, then, let, let's make our soap solution again. We'll add glycerin into the solution later. We need to conduct an experiment to decide the suitable amount for the glycerin. So, this boy make an inference. Okay? So, let's continue. Okay, now the pill lady said, In my opinion, the more quantity glycerin is used, the longer the time it takes for the bubbles to burst. And then the green one said, I agree with you, Anna. Your opinion can be used as the hypothesis of our experiment. I suggest that we only use this washing liquid to make our soap solution. And the yellow one said, we should not waste time. Let's conduct this experiment. So as we can see, Anna is making a hypothesis by linking the quantity of glycerin and the time to that it takes for the bubbles to burst. And then, the yellow person said, let's conduct this experiment. So, they want to do an experiment. So, let's go. Okay, students, before we carry out an experiment, I would like you to refer to the textbook page 9 to 11. Before we conducting any experiment, we have to identify the aim of the experiment. For the, this experiment, the aim of this experiment is to investigate the relationship between the quantity of tapioca flour and the time taken for the soap bubbles to burst. So, for this experiment, I don't have glycerin. So, I change the glycerin with tapioca flour. And the problem statement that we have here is, does different quantity of tapioca flour affect the time taken for the soap bubbles to burst? So the hypothesis is, okay, the initial uh, hypothesis for this experiment is the more quantity of 
tapioca flour is used, the longer the time taken for the bubbles to burst. Okay, so this is the initial hypothesis. By carrying out the experiment, we will know it, uh, whether this hypothesis is proven true or not. And we also need to determine the variables that we use in this experiment. So we manipulated the quantity of tapioca flour. And you can see later in the video. The responding is the time taken for the salt bubbles to burst. And the constant uh, variable is the type of dishwashing liquid, volume of water, size of the bubble produce, and the speed of the surrounding wind. Okay, wind. And the apparatus uh, and materials is simple. You can do this at home if you want to try. We just need plastic container with a, with a lid, drinking straw, tablespoon, water, dishwashing liquid, and tapioca flour. I have already conducted the experiment, so let's see the video of this experiment. The findings that we got from the video okay from the findings okay we can see there are uh, three types of, of container ABC with different amount different quantity of tapioca flour okay one spoon two spoon three spoon and the reaction time for the balloon to burst is also different one spoon got only 1.01 minutes before it burst uh, two spoon got 1.53 minutes 
Okay, before it got birth and with the three spoon of tapioca, okay, we've got 2.05 minutes before it going to birth. So, from the de this data that have been recorded, okay, we can interpret the data. Okay, based on the quantity of the tapioca flour, if we got three table uh, three tablespoon, okay, the soap bubbles stay for a longer time, okay, than the one spoon or two spoon quantity of tapioca flour. So from this data, we can say that the time taken by the soap foam to birth is two point zero five minutes. So it is the longer the bubble lasts longer with a three spoon of tapioca flour. And we have come to the conclusion. As the conclusion, okay, the hypothesis, okay, our initial it, uh, hypothesis is accepted. It is proven that the more quantity of the tapioca flour, the longer the time taken for the soap bubble to burst. And everyone, thank you for watching the video just now. So your task is, okay, please respond done watching to your science teacher through WhatsApp or you can, you can comment on, uh, on the section, uh, on the comment section, okay, below the, this YouTube, okay, and then you must copy and complete mind test exercise from textbook, okay, page 15 to 18 into your exercise book and then send your work to your teacher in a week of time through what whatsapp okay <clears throat> so till we meet again i see you later for the next lesson bye